things always fall. Oof, I'm just finished doing my housework so that tomorrow I can have a nice day and just relax. Hold on, I'll get this wee thing. Is this for this? This is my nice wee lamp. You've got to keep charging it up, but it is lovely. Let me put it on charge. Good morning, good morning. 35,000 subscribers. I can't believe it. Um, I just, just can't go over it. Wait, don't you? I'm pulling it from my part. That one's good. Pull it apart. Is that charging? That's charging. Hey, hold on. Everything's failed. For goodness sake, I'm never organised. Ashley, good morning, good morning, lovely Ashley. Yeah, can you believe it? I can't believe it myself. I know I look a hot mess, but I'm just finished cleaning my bath. Look, I've been throwing some things out in my bathroom, making room for the seashell shop tomorrow. Thank you, Ashley. I'm so proud of myself, actually. I really am. I'm, I'm, and that doesn't happen to me much. <laughs> I'm kind of proud of myself. Thank you so much. Kat, good morning, good morning. Melania, good morning. Thank you so much. I can't get over it. I can't get over it. I'm, I'm kind of I'm stunned, I think. I think I'm stunned. Beth, good morning, good morning. I never, ever thought I'd get to 35. I never, ever thought I would get to... I thought that was that was me just like at 34, which I was so happy about, by the way. But 35, 12 million people have viewed me. It's like, it's like, it's unbelievable. I can't believe it. Green Rose, thank you so much. Tan Man, thank you so much. Becky, good morning, good morning. Thank you so much, Kat. Um, um, look... Thank you to, listen, thank you to all of you. Don't be thanking me. Thank you to all of you for, for subscribing to me and, and stuff and watching, watching my channel, watching what I get up to. <laughs> no, I do get up, and especially tomorrow I'll be getting up to stuff, let's face it. Tomorrow's a Saturday. Nobody's safe. There's a particular guy that I keep talking to on a Saturday. Um... <laughs> It's terrible. Look, at my age, you've got to go to baby day, things like that. So I've tidied, the whole place is nice and tidy. Um, oh, is it Tan Man's birthday? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Tan Man. Happy birthday. To you, boop boop be doop boo. Hope you have a lovely day, Tan Man. There you go, a special Marilyn Monroe. I know it's uncanny how me and Marilyn are the absolute double, isn't it? Uncanny. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I needed that. I know, Becky, see, it's, it's unbelievable how, how we're, we're absolutely like twins. <laughs> Only the pink hair and she's got the blonde, but when I've got the blonde hair, I'm the absolute spitting image. I used to look like Madonna until Madonna done a lot of stuff to her face. What's she done to her face? Why do they do... No, I'll tell you why. I know why they do this, because there's some plastic surgeon guy in LA, right, that charges £10,000 for five minutes, right? That kind of guy, that kind of guy, and uh, actually, I know it's it's amazing isn't it, how we're, we're, we're absolute doubles. And uh, there's some guy going about early, early plastic surgeon saying, Do you know what? I can take ten years off you with just a wee lip, wee tuck here and a wee nip there, and and all sorts of stuff. And they're all believing it, and they're all getting all this the things put in them, things taken out them, ribs taken out, all this kind of stuff. This guy's laughing all the way to the bank, and they look plastic. I, th I I prefer a natural. I prefer a natural face. I think I think it's interesting looking at old people because their face tells a story kind of thing. But when everybody's plastic, look, see if see if you if you like that thing. I'm no no see. It's just no for me. But listen, a wee nip and tuck's all right. But but see when they go too far like that, like Pete Burns too far. Like Pete, poor Pete. I loved Pete Burns as well. Um, I he he went too far, and then it was a, a botched uh, lip. Remember his poor lips? He did get some done his lips anyway, and his lips swollen up like that, and it was all pus that was in his lips. Ruined, ruined for life. See, people need to watch what they're doing, and shouldn't they listen to these 
uh, folk in LA that are saying to them, do you know what, I can take 10 years off. Why do you need to take 10 years off? Why can you not just grow old and be your age? I know, he took it to Green Rose, I know. And I loved Pete Burns. The thing I loved about Pete Burns the most was he just said what he felt. I mean, <laughs> there was no filter on the guy, was there? I was watching him the other day and Big Brother, oh my God, me and Sophie were laughing her head off. I don't know if any of you watched Big Brother UK, right, one year. It, was, it wasn't It was the year Pete was in, it was a different year, right? It was the year that Angie Bowie was in the Big Brother house, right? <laughs> and David Guest, God rest his soul, David Guest, he was in the house as well. And, and this lassie called Tiffany, that I don't know, some American lassie, right? And others, others were in the Big Brother house, right? So it was when David Bowie had died of cancer. And Angie got took into the diary room, right, and said, told the bad news, right? Told the bad news that, that um, her ex-husband had passed away kind of thing, right? Now, don't forget, David Guest was in the house, right? And David Guest, that morning, was going, do you know what? I don't feel too good. I don't feel too... I'm, I'm feeling a bit funny. He says, I'm going to go to my bed. And they're all going, go to your bed, David. Go to your bed. You'll feel better when you wake up, right? So... He goes to his bed and Angie comes out the diary room and she's like that. To, and she's got bunches in, which makes it even more funny. She's got bunches in. And this lassie, Tiffany, comes out and she was, she was going, you know that I'm, I'm upset, don't you? And she was going, what's wrong and all that? She's going, listen, I'm going to tell you something, but you can't tell anybody. She's going, what, what is it? And she went, David's dead. And Tiffany started screaming, ah, ah. Immediately I thought, oh my God, she thinks it's David Guest. And she's going, oh my God, no, that... Angie must have thought, this is the biggest David Bowie fan on earth, right? Ah, oh, oh, she's screaming, and, and Angie's going, shh, be quiet, be quiet. You can't tell him. To, and, and she was going, when did this happen? And she went, just now, in the diary room. <laughs> See, watching it. See, watching it, I was an absolute, I was howling. And she's going, ah, ah, she's screaming, and Angie's going, oh, no, I shouldn't have told you, I shouldn't have told you. She must have thought this woman absolutely loved David Bowie, loved him, ah, she's screaming and all that. So everybody's out having a cigarette in the garden. <laughs> As Lassie Tiffany goes, what? Ah, screaming and all that. And they're all going, what's wrong me, what's wrong me? And she went, Angie's just told me something, David's dead. And they were going, David? David Guest? She's going, yes, it just happened in the diary room. She said, David Guest. So they all run into the bedroom. David Guest lying in his bed like this, all tucked up. You know, the man's not feeling well. Tucked up in his bed. And the girl, they pull the covers off him. They're, going, they're looking at him. David's gone, what's, what's going on? They're going, David's no dead. Look, there's David. David's no dead. That Tiffany comes right out. <laughs> she, was, she came right out and she was like, eh, you said it was David Guest and Angie was going, oh no, I've, I've caused something, I've caused something. So anyway, at the end of the day, they said to this lassie, you've got the name wrong. It's her ex-husband, David, that died. No, David Guest. It's, it was the best bit of Big Brother ever. It was the hilarious. But straight away, I thought, oh my God, this lassie thinks it's uh, David Guest has passed away. Ah, she was screaming. Angie must have been like... Man, she, she loved David Bowie. She must have just loved the star man and stuff like that. Biggest fan of David Bowie. It was hilarious. So me and Sophie were watching that again the other day. It's good for a laugh. <laughs> I know she started that. She was horrible, wasn't she? She started shouting. She started shouting at Angie. And but, and she was telling lies, Green Rose, because she said that Angie had said it was David Guest that had passed away. And Angie never, Angie, Angie went, David's dead. That's what she said. She never said it was uh, David Guest. So Angie was been a wee a pot stirrer, as we call it, stirring the pot there. But it was a good bit of telly. I wish they would bring that back. The celebrity one, see, like the normal people, Big Brother, just that kind of fizzled out. But the celebrities, there's something about putting celebrities in the house and torturing them that I like. <laughs> Not not real torture. I'm not talking about like uh, like um, what's his name, Dracula kind of torture. I'm I'm talking about just like no feeding them as much, <laughs> getting them to do tasks and stuff. It's great. It's great viewing that. Oh, Green Rose is brilliant. It's brilliant because Angie's like that too. And she's going, David's dead. She's going, ah! Ah! she's screaming. 
<laughs> and she's going, shh, don't tell him. Now imagine if it was true. Imagine if David Guest had actually died and the big brother only shouted Angie into the diary room and tell her the news that David had just passed away in the diary room. But don't tell him, the Angie. Can you imagine that? Me and Sophie were absolutely, we were, we were laughing our heads off at that. That was brilliant. That was the best bit of Big Brother ever. That was amazing. <laughs> you couldn't have, you couldn't have wrote that. Do you know what I mean? You could not have wrote that situation. That was that was it was just a perfect thing that happened. It was hilarious. It was a shame for, for Angie, obviously. I mean the, the poor woman, but as a viewer watching and seeing how it all got mixed up. But we were watching Pete as well. We were watching Pete Burns. Jenny, thank you so much. Thank you. Jenny, can you believe it? 35,000 and 12 million. I can't look. I'm, I'm a bit embarrassed, actually. I'm a wee bit embarrassed. 12 million people have been looking at me in the bath. 12 million people have been watching me um, in the bath and stuff like that. <laughs> We've turned, I need to get an OnlyFans going. Eh? I need to get an OnlyFans going and it'll be OnlyFans from the bath. That's what's going to be happening. And it's just going to be what a day on a Saturday, but you know, it's going to be out there. I'll just, I'll just be like playing with my squishy gun and stuff. <laughs> Only fans, right? That's it. Thirty-five pound of you. Be rolling in it, rolling in the cash. <laughs> Buy lots of stuff at the seashell shop. I'm limiting. I'm limiting myself to twenty pounds tomorrow. That's all. It's my tingle pink. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much, Graffy girl. Thank you so much. Thank you very, very much. Yeah, so um, I've got the petrol in the car. I'm all ready to go. I've, I've, I've Google mapped my, my route so I know where I'm going. Imagine that, Jenny. Only fans for the bath. I think I think I might get some views. <laughs> Splashing the camera and stuff like that. <coughs> splash, splash. <coughs> like that kind of thing. Uh, maybe somebody would like it. You know, maybe, maybe somebody. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a possibility. It's a, it's a, it's a side hustle. If I need a side hustle, I know what I've got there going, I know what I've got. The girls will be all right. My, my children will be fine about it. I've got no only fans. I'm, I'm just going to be in the bath. <laughs> Splashing. Not naked or nothing like that. Do you know what I mean? Fully clothed in the bath. That's what, Bath talk. We could have it called the bath talk with blueberry or something. We could have we, we put a spin on it. We'll put a spin on it. Well, I'm be playing with objects in the bath. Not actually, like, playing with, like... Like they cannot objects. <laughs> oh, that that would cost them more. <laughs> that would that would be an extra tenner there. That'd be an extra tenner if I was playing my naughty stuff in the bath. <laughs> but like, don't watch my OnlyFans, um, MD that knows me. <laughs> no, I won't be doing that. Let me just put that out there. I won't. I won't be doing that. <laughs> but it's, it's, it's a thought, isn't it? It's a thought. Hey, where's my juice? There it is. Tesco lemon and lime zero. Oh, Raffi girl, he's great. He's, do you know, he's still a wee bit wheezy though. It just shows you how bad he was. But I had him up here the other day and uh, yeah, come and get flavoured with me in the bath. It's, look, I'm telling you, it's a, it's a million dollar idea, isn't it? How much would I charge for that nonsense? I don't know, but it's like... It's just set the camera up. After after my life we used to set the camera up and do an OnlyFans. <laughs> Strange men would be watching and going, when's she going to get her kit off and they'll be never? I'll never get my kit off and just splashing in the bath, if that's your thing. <laughs> the grandson's great. How should we girl, Rafi girl? How should we girl? And how's your boy? Is he is he all happy he's a big brother now? Here I mean, I, look, I could get my feet out or something like that. I'm just, I'm just thinking how I'd make a spin on this. Oh. No, I would never do that. But listen, it's a thought, isn't it? It's a thought. I'm telling you, but only fancy do a lot of weird stuff, don't they? And they get, they get money for it. They get cash. It's amazing. It's amazing the stuff that... Look, mind the black nail polish guy. All he wanted was some black nail polish on you. I could do that. I could absolutely do that. I could black nail polish my nails to hell. I could even I could even like maybe say things while I'm doing my my oh it's dead dead hot and warm this nail polish. I mean like see the stuff that they would give you money for. 
but I don't. <laughs> oh, it is. Oh, my goodness, Rafi girl. Oh, oh, what a great big brother he is. That is adorable. That is absolutely adorable. I love seeing your wee pictures and I loved your chain. Um, Rafi girl's got this beautiful chain and it's like it's like wee baby feet and she's got the name of her kids on it. That's gorgeous. That's beautiful. Aye, so I'm looking forward to the to tomorrow. As I say, I don't know how much internet I've got. I'll, I hope I've got enough to take his there anyway. Um, to the to calendar. It's a lovely place, so I'm hoping as well that the rain. Wait, 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 wait to tell you what happened to me this morning. Shows you I'm my, I'm getting old. I'm getting bloody. I'm a bit. Like, I'm old. Right. Anyway, see, I'm 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 going off track. So this morning I needed electricity and I needed to put petrol in the car for a wee trip tomorrow. So I went to the petrol station, right, and I get my petrol and I get my electricity and I'm driving down the road, right, and I'm thinking I'm thinking to myself about tomorrow, I'm thinking, oh, I hope it's going to be a nice day tomorrow. And the sea, you know, the seashell shop, I'm dead excited about the sea bloody seashell shop and we'll get a wee fish supper and all the rest of it. And see, before I knew it, I was driving down my old street where I used to stay. I took the turning for my old house and I'm driving down the hill and I'm going, oh my God, I can't believe I'm driving down here. It's, it just, I don't know what, what had happened, but there I was, driving down my old street past my old house. So I had to go down and I looked at my old house and the, the house next door to me is up for sale. Um, so that wee woman must have passed away, I'm thinking. She was pretty old. Um, and uh, there you are. And uh, the whole time I'm going, I can't believe I'm down here. Totally just, just chemo brain or whatever the hell it is, right? Just driving and I took the car and, and went down to my old house. I can't, no, I don't, is, is my, my going crazy or, or, or what? <laughs> it's, it's a beautiful present that your sister got you. Abdu, good morning to you. Is it still morning? It is still morning. Oh, did you? It's my tingle pink. I did wee dream about my granny again the other night. But see, because I'm doing knitting and it was my granny that taught me how to knit, so it's possibly that. But my granny comes to me all the time. My dad was saying he doesn't dream up, he's never dreamt about her, it's my dad's mum. I dream, of, as I've told you before, I dream about her all the time. And see, every time, we seem to be saying the exact same things every time. I tell her that I miss her, I tell her that I love her, I kiss her, and she tells me that she, she misses me and kisses me, right? But in this dream... I went home wear slippers. And I thought, oh, I've got her slippers here. I'll, I'll need to get her slippers back. Whatever the hell that is. Jenny, weird. It's just, I've, that road, I've been up and down that road a million times, right? And for 20 odd year, I would take that cutting to go down to my, my old house. And I've just automatically, just, because I've, I've been thinking about the, the trip the more, I've been down there before I realised, where the hell am I going? Strange, 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 strange. I couldn't believe it myself. I was like, my God, I can't believe I'm doing here. Driving by the old house. <laughs> I did have a wee look. It, nothing's changed really apart from like, the, the house next door is up for sale and stuff. It's exactly the same as where it was. But I was glad to get back here because this is, this is, this is, I love this place. I love my wee bungalow and everything like that. This is a much nicer place than the old place. So I was glad to come out of there again. It was like a prison down there. It was, it was as if I was in prison, honestly. Because, as I say, it had three levels, the house. The house had three levels. And see the, the living room window? You were looking at, so, at looking at somebody's roof. That's That was your view, really. Somebody's roof. You could see the campsies in the distance, but you'd need to stand up and have a good look like that. So looking out the window, that's how you would see it would be somebody's roof. So it was, and it was like horrible, horrible the way it was all situated and stuff. Whereas here it's good because I get to look and see who's coming in and out the street and all that because I'm dead nosy. And I've got my, my wee garden for my dogs and it's, it's lovely neighbours, Rafi girl. Um, compared to the, the last people, they, they thought they were something, you know what I mean? They thought the money looked, looked down their nose at us. It was terrible. Terrible. A struggling family, do you know what I mean? But... I'm glad to get out of there. There's Poppy digging up a storm earlier, look. 
Look, she can't stand. She can't, look, she cannot stand my house being tidy. Look, she's got to go and dig, dig things up. Look at that. Look at the digging. She does that and then she decides, you know what? I'm no one to go there. Look, she's going to go to the next cushion. <laughs> there, there she's comfy. <laughs> See, some people are like, don't have your animals on your couch. Listen, I've got them in my bed. I've got my animals in the bed with me. Never mind on the couch. My animals go everywhere. <laughs> my animals are everywhere. Jack Russell Glitter is all about the place. You know what I'm saying? Isn't she cute though? She's my wee baby. She's my wee baby. But she loves to dig things, that's for sure. So I'm going to go, guys. And uh, I'm going to... I don't know if I should do my hair. If I should put more pink in my hair. Does it look pink enough? Does it look wishy washy? I might, I might, no, I'll just leave it, I'll just leave it. But I'm going to be going for a shower later. And I've got my beds all nice and changed. I've got new bed and on. So, isn't, do you know, love that? When you go for a shower and then you go into your bed and your bed and it's all nice and fresh. I love it. So, Oh, my, my, my doggies are everywhere. <laughs> my dogs are everywhere. So everybody have a lovely, lovely Friday. I'll see you tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning we're off. We're going to run. Um, We're going to the bloody seashell shop. I cannot wait. I'm, oh, I've no idea. I've made room in my bathroom for puffins and stuff like that. I can't wait. And then tomorrow is flavouring day. We're going to be going for a bath together. It's going to be great. We're going to have a good day tomorrow. So I will see you then and I'll be doing videos for you in the morning as well. And thank you all again for my 35,000 subs and 12 million views. I cannot believe it. You are amazing. You are absolutely amazing and I love you all. I'm going to give you a big kissy now. Mm -hmm.